It's superficial. It's, it's, what do it names you think? like 200 things. I, I said this yesterday. If, it, if we could have gone into okay, more detail about a few things, so maybe we could have learned more. Craig, okay. you're not to cut in. <laughs> if you like John Stewart, if you like Rick yeah. Mercer, then you'll the love this book thing, yeah. because it's the that style. type of humor. Yeah. And, and you can't approach this with anger. It can't just be anger. Well, we I'm need the angry. humor to lance the wound so that you can go through the horrors of these years. And as for your comment that we summed up, Easily, there were many things that I, as a Canadian, absolutely did not know and were shocked by as I read. Canadians don't know our history. This book has never been taught in school. You were surprised? The very fact, I was surprised at almost every page. Were you not shocked that in some residential schools, 50% of the kids died? Were you not surprised in looking at things like the Star Wars? I think it was good to be reminded, and I think it was really good to I think it's the, really good to say that. So sorry. This. What you spoke of. This history needs to be taught in Canada. The very fact that a third of Canadians blame Aboriginals for the economic woes, the vast majority of Canada does not understand this history. And it's brilliantly written. It's a non-fiction written by a fiction writer who uses humor, who uses wit, who interjects this vulnerability of his personal stories. I laughed out loud. I literally teared up. It was the most accessible history book I've ever read. This is the perfect book to teach Canada. All right, ladies.